Hello, my friends. My name is Unki, and welcome back to another episode of Harvestella. My friends, we have some things to talk about. We have some things to talk about in regards to our battle and defeat with Kierkegaard. Went a little hard. It was a little hard. It's a little rough. Look at that fish 50 times. Not bad. I want that level two jam maker. Not that I'm using any of the level two things. Okay. Let's take a peek outside and see what's going on. Oh, I will. Is it raining? It feels like it's raining. It's all gloomy. It's all gloomy this morning. Okay. Dessert maker, coconut milk. What does that? Can I drink that? Let me see. Okay. Nope. It's just restores a small amount of HP. Okay. Before we get into stuff, let's talk about that battle. It was a good battle. Um, but we lost. And we lost because three things. I was re-watching the video, and there were three things essentially that happened. Uh, one, I was unable to heal for some bizarre reason. I could not figure out why I couldn't heal. Two, uh, couldn't use special abilities. Couldn't figure out why I couldn't use special abilities. Seriously vexing me. And then three, we were... Ooh, look at all my lettuce has come in. Nope, not yet. One more day. Um, we're not going to get... Wait. We're not going to get another harvest out of this lettuce, so there's no use in trying. Okay. Three, we were dealing with poison. You know, nothing we can do about that except for mitigate the effects. So, to solve the problem of number one, why we couldn't heal. Well, that was simple. All I had was juice, and our bellies were full. We had eaten so much food that we couldn't use anymore. Now, I have never encountered that problem before, where I had a full belly and one was able to heal. So, I didn't understand what was going on, and I could only... Glean, this was the case after watching the video. So, going forward, when we enter that battle the next time to defeat Kierkegaard, because we will defeat Kierkegaard the next time we face him, uh, we got to go in with an empty stomach. And then we got to eat sparingly. And we have to bring lots of juice. That's why I just put stuff in the juice maker. And this is kind of my fault, let making the juice kind of like slide. <laughs> Hello. Um, you know, but, uh, you know, I was just getting lazy, I guess. Okay. So, we couldn't heal because we didn't have any, because our bellies were full and we weren't allowed to eat any more food. Makes sense. Number two, no special abilities. Well, <laughs> the reason we had no special abilities is that we went in there with Braca and with Shrika. And guess what? We haven't unlocked a special ability yet. The reason we haven't unlocked a special ability yet is because we haven't developed any of his story quests. This is the same with uh, Shrika. They're brand new to us. So, of course, they don't have them. So, how do we solve this problem? Well, we swap them out for people that do have special abilities. And I was looking at this one. A song that cures all party status and ailments and briefly increases the party physical and magic defense. That sounds absolutely perfect because we were taking a lot of damage okay special technique Ryan maiden plus we haven't seen it so it seems pretty cool to me and then as far as Braca goes i think we're gonna swap out with estina because this a series of unavoidable rapid slash attacks on a single target causes poison damage critical hit rate goes up by 18 percent so both of these are very very good and I think if we bring the badass ladies into the battle, there is nothing, literally nothing that will stop us. Okay. As far as jobs, um, in watching, I think I'm going to stick with Mage, Avenger, and uh, Pilgrim. Where's Pilgrim? Right over here. They all seem to be doing really good damage. Um, the lightning damage from the mage looked like it was weak too. The being able to switch between fire and ice here to deal with the flowers, absolutely clear clutch that was another mistake i was making i was just mashing buttons kind of randomly it was not being strategic so i'm going to be more strategic save this for when we are dealing with the flowers switch to here and then this thing uh what is it pilgrim this ability which one is it is it uh this one choreo purgation this thing is so freaking strong it's so strong there's no reason why we don't have this um plus i love the ranged uh the ranged like physical attack. I just like being ranged. I don't want to get too close. I want to have distance in case I need to run away. Okay. So I think. Oh. <laughs> Dealing with poison. This is number three. If we go to party. We look at me. Uh, magic swordsman ring. Simple critical ring. I'll keep that on. But I have this. Deadly poison guard too. Fancy deadly poison ring. Pretty sure this um, let's see, ups our poison defense. I don't see what else it would do. Deadly poison guard too. It doesn't say what percentage it does, but I imagine that it does. Physical attack and magical attack, that seems good. But what is the critical? Critical up. 
Um, what do I think is better, actually? Actually, let's just go with physical and magic. This is probably just fine. Okay. So what are we going to do before we go and fight the baddie? Well, we're going to need to make a few more juice. I think I just made some. Uh, organize. Okay, so we have two. Two vegetable juices. This is not bad. Uh, don't need that. We have what should be plenty of food as long as I'm smart enough not to get hit. Um, and let's see. Did I start making more juice? Yes, I did. Insert. Nothing to insert here. Insert. Make jam. No, we're going to just um, sell this stuff. Because we still want that money. Sell that. Sell that. We could smoke that egg if we wanted to. Makes a drink. Ooh, we actually haven't made a drink out of that. That's interesting. Um, we will hang on to the rest of these. Okay, now, we don't have any other pending story quests. Um, except for one with Cress. But we do have a side quest in Shatola. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Shatola next. I'm going to complete that side quest. We should get some money from that. Then, I'm going to buy some honey flour. I'm not going to dash around. I'm going to burn up all my stamina. Not that big of a deal. Hello, lovey. Hello. Love you. See you later. Bye. Okay, so we're going to do this side quest. And then we should have enough money to buy the honey flour we need come fall. This is something we've been talking about for a few episodes now. Hello. I wonder if she'll figure out. She'll finally understand the origin of her pendant. She's probably just wowed at how gorgeous it is. It is paradise here. Oh, you caught up with me. Well, I couldn't just leave you. <laughs> this is just a coincidence. So rude. Well, I couldn't just leave you alone. Really? I knew you would come for me. So does this mean you're going to stay with me until I'm finished? Yeah, I mean, we're here. Thank you. That gives me some comfort. So how did you get here? You came a long way by yourself. Ah, uh, yeah, about that. I asked a merchant friend of my dad's to bring me out here. They come to Shikotola a bunch for work. They said they'd take me back, too, once I'm done. So you don't need to worry about that. So what, did you find any clues? We solved the mystery. Actually, I have no idea what to do next. This is my first time being somewhere that isn't Nemea, so I was kind of overwhelmed when I got here. Well, let's go figure it out. Shatola is such a wonderful town. The sea is beautiful, and the ocean breeze feels so good. It hasn't changed a bit. What hasn't changed? Didn't you say you've never been here? Huh? Oh, why did I... Hello? This isn't the first time I've been here. I know this place. Maybe she was born here. Didn't we guess that she might have been adopted? But how? You've been here before? I'm sorry. I'm pretty shocked myself, actually. But I remember now. Remember what? Tell us. Everything. I have to go. Come with me. Kind of cloudy and dreary today. Look at that. All right. Sh Cherie, somewhere in Chichola. Try and find her. Well, let's see. We have a magic map that tells us where everything is at all times. Don't know if we found any other Canelu dolls. I think once we get um, level two bombs, we'll probably find a few more Canelu dolls hidden away. We're going to save our run in case we are way late up at night and are risking passing out. Costs us dearly every time we do that. All right. Tell us what's going on here. I'm sorry for running off. I just had to see something for myself. It's, it's this beach. I remember it now. I used to live here when I was small. But with my real mom and dad. Your real parents? My parents and Namiya are not my real mom and dad. My real name isn't Cherie. It's Lynn. So you had amnesia? <laughs> I guess. I don't know. These are both kind of weird. This is not what I would say. Yeah, I must have. But now I know. Now I understand why I have this pendant. Why I always wanted to look for shells. I guess somehow I subconsciously knew it would help me recover my memories. 
But how did you get amnesia? As if she would know. Maybe she does remember that. There's one more place I'd like to go. Would you come with me? Absolutely. I'd like to visit my real parents' home. If they haven't left town, then I'm sure they'll still be in the same house. How, why would you be sure of that? Anyway, thank you. I remember exactly where it is. It's a pretty house looking out onto the sea. Let's go. All right. Go to Shree's old home. Or Lynn, actually. There it is. It's right there. Not far. This is the house. My real home, where my real parents live. We're gonna go inside. Are you ready? I think so. I wanna see this through myself. Oh look, you can see the secret shop <laughs> just peeking out through there. That's kinda cool, I never noticed that before. Uh, over behind me, uh, off to the right. Okay, here I go. If you don't get ready quick, then we're gonna leave without you. Eep. <laughs> Eep. What should I do? Somebody's coming. I didn't even knock on the door yet. Just go say hi. Quick, hide. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> now we're spying on them? <laughs> didn't you wanna meet them? <laughs> I'm so confused. <laughs> Maybe it's not them. Do you think they're arguing? That's them. My real mom and dad, they still live here. This is going to get real tragic, I fear. Mommy, daddy, wait for me. Huh? She has a baby sister. Mom, I want to go to the beach again. Again, but we just went Lug Lugly? <laughs> what a name. I love that. Lugly. It's just a little close to Lugie. Yep, I want to find more seashells. Haha, <laughs> you must have had a lot of fun picking shells with that visitor before. Yeah. Well, okay, then we can go tomorrow. They're literally 30 seconds from the beach. How hard is it? I would be at the beach all the time if I lived that close to the beach. Do you want to go after him? No, we can't do that. That girl looks so happy. Mom and dad are clearly giving her a happy childhood. I'm going back to Namiya. The merchant will, dang it. The merchant will be waiting for me. Are you sure you're okay with that? I didn't mean to click past that dialogue. There's no home for me here anymore. It's fine, really. This is way sadder than I thought it was gonna be. I was right in my assumption though. Let's meet again under the observation deck. We gotta go back to Namiya, come on. I want my money now. <laughs> I was gonna buy 28 memories restored. Go see Namiya. Cherie waiting at the observation deck in Namiya. Can we buy, while we're here, 28 honey flower though? Can we afford it? Let's find out. I think we're just shy. We still have a couple days, so it's not the biggest deal. Ugh, oh, we're one shy. Okay, well, I don't want to buy them. I wanna buy them all at once. Okay. Uh, Zipping home. Return home. It's only 9.40 in the morning. We're doing well. Take care out there. Oh, I will. Uh, might be a good idea to go check on the waterside biome. Maybe see how my little coconut trees are coming along. See you later. <laughs> so weird. Okay. Tippity tappity tap. Let's go. Observation deck. Here I come. Can we port there? General store, return home. No, but I think... No, no, no. That's not what I want to do. Hello. Uh, but I think it's up here. I guess we could have used this one. The general store. All right. I know I've been constantly harping on about leaving this town and going to the sea. 
But there's something about the scenery in Nemea that calms me down. It is absolutely beautiful here. I know that's kind of strange. Not at all. That reminds me, I never told you why I lost my memories. I guess you could call the cause something of a regular occurrence. We were traveling when our carriage was attacked by a monster and I got separated from my parents. Next time I opened my, my, my eyes, I was in the Nemea Orphanage. I must have been in pretty bad shape, which is probably what caused me to lose my memories. I'm so sorry. I'm sure my real parents believe I died in the attack. Monsters don't usually leave bodies to find, after all. I think you should tell them. I absolutely think you should tell them. They'll be overjoyed. I knew you would say something like that. I wonder if that would really be the best thing to do. You saw that little girl, right? Luigi, I think her name was. Never in my wildest dreams did I think I'd have a sister so pretty. Or a sister at all. Oh my gosh. They've obviously moved on after my death. And I have a new family, so everything's fine. I don't think you could be a great sister to Lugli. Lugli. I can't get over this name. This is a very serious quest, and this is the silliest name. The contrast could not be greater here. I'm, I'm sorry. I need some time to think on it. Not only that, but I'd like to keep this a secret for my parents here in Amiya, if you don't mind. Yes, I can respect that. I want to talk to them about it when I know for sure what I want to do. Anyways, I'll see you around, and thanks again for coming with me to Shatola. Well, you kind of forced my hand, but you know what? It's alright. That's what we do. Memories restored. 1500 Gorilla, six Nectar Cane Seeds. I didn't even need to buy all those Nectar Cane Seeds. Oh, it's okay. That is okay. Oh, I just remembered something. Okay. Oh, there's a chest up here. Hello. Tomato seeds. I didn't know that. Man, I gotta remember to check every freaking crevice and cranny of this world. Okay. So now we gotta go back to Shatola and buy ourselves some honey flower seeds. Return home. Wait, before we do that, are there any other quests? No. Okay. Return home. Um, but while I was here, I just remembered this. Now, we won't be able to do this until tomorrow, but, um, let's see, encyclopedia. We can actually make Removes Depots, a Soma Potion, an extremely rare drink made from Wise Man's Root. Now, I think I have one of these. I think I've made one. Right here. Great. Oh, and look, I have a ton of juices, actually. Let me go fight this guy right now. Removes Stun, removes Bind, removes Magic Defense down. I don't care about the status effects so much. I care about the uh, health regen, but this is a really good one to have. Um, well, we should take them anyways, because they can't hurt, right? Look at this, a smoked egg cures 1100 HP. Holy crap, that's really good. Hermit's root, wise man's root. Where's why, do I have any wise man's root? I feel like I should. Oh, I have one. So this is very rare. We have not been able to find this and I don't know that we've been able to grow it yet. So let's see, do we dare brave the Kierkegaard today and risk Let's see, sort all of this. Risk, okay, so we can drop this off. We're not gonna use it. We can drop this off, this. We're not gonna use that. We got some sugar, that's nice. We have six pieces of food. We have a, a poison, a debuff, poison. Oops, sorry. <laughs> I almost had a heart attack just now because I thought I used that. But no, you can't use it in your inventory. I just hit the wrong button, which I seem to love to do, okay. This is probably enough because I think with our preparation, we should be in a great spot to uh, totally wallop on this guy. Why don't we get everything else done that we need to get done though? I think it's probably smart See and later. safer. See you later. Okay, we'll go uh, check out Cress. Wait, no, I'm going to buy my honey flower first because I want to see how much money I have left over. 
because I want to upgrade um, Estina and Emo's weapons at least once before we go in. If we could do that, that would be fantastic. All right. Hello, sir. I'm here. I am the consummate window shopper. I'm here constantly just looking at the goods. 28. Nice. 1,200 Gorilla left. I want to say... I want to say it costs 750 right now to upgrade their stuff. It would be really convenient if you could use the Modus Monolite to teleport between cities. The uh, coming back home is kind of nice. Oh, excuse me. But it uh, it would be so awesome if we could just zip between one city and the next. All right, let's go see how our dear Crest is doing. Um, the other benefit of maybe waiting a day, it's the 28th. Quietus comes after the 30th. So we technically have two more days after this. Um, is that we might get a few more character quests. Like if we got another emo character quest or Estina character quest, because we're so close on those, then we would, you know, maybe get even better party buffs from them, right? Critical, maybe 20%. Hers, you know, a 6% on each of these. That would be good. All right, let's see what's going on with Chris. Hello, dear. Ah, Anki, you read my letter. It said something important happened. That's right. It's about the patient from before. Different music. He just passed away a few days ago. I'm sorry to hear that. After what I found in the diary, I went and spoke to the patients and his family. I proposed the idea of changing his medication to alleviate his symptoms instead of trying to cure them. I was surprised at how quickly they came to a decision. I guess it was only me who was wrestling with that problem until the bitter end. You tried your best. I think you did all you could. I know exactly how hard I tried. You don't have to tell me. Whoa, I wasn't trying to be condescending. There's no need to worry or cheer me up. I did all I could as a doctor. So, there's nothing to be depressed over. I'm a terrible liar. <laughs> it's hard not to feel overwhelmed every time I'm unable to save someone's life. There's never an occasion where I don't fully realize my own incompetency despite doing everything I can to help. That's... Okay, there's never an occasion where I don't fully realize... My own incompetency despite doing everything I can to help. That is a very, very heavy sentence. Even with you there to help me, there was nothing we could do. It was all for nothing. I don't think so. I mean, let's see what she had, what conclusions she comes to. Antki, I don't think I... You can't quit being a doctor. Excuse me, is Dr. Cress available? Is everything okay? I'm sorry to drop by so suddenly, but I really need to speak with you. About your brother, right? Look, doctor, I wanted to tell you. I'm sorry. Pardon? I'm so sorry I wasn't able to save your brother. Please don't apologize. You gave my family exactly what we had hoped for. What? My brother was smiling even before he died. Neither me nor my parents expected to see him smile again. He was able to say goodbye to his friends. He spoke to everyone who had ever treated him with kindness. His illness had made him give up on doing lots of things but he was able to do them all anyways. It made it easier for him to come to terms with his own death. You helped him do that, Dr. Kress. I wanted to thank you, you know, for giving my brother the time he had left. Anyway, that's all I wanted to say. 
There's no need to thank me. I wasn't able to do anything. But I appreciate the sentiment. Oh, you did so much. I'm sorry for taking so much of your time. I'll be heading home now. Thank you for listening. No, of course. Take care. Hey, Anki. Can we talk outside a moment? Absolutely. Meet me at the place behind the mayor's house where you can see the sea's light. Man, did that get intense quick. Whew! That was all I could do to keep it together. I was about to freaking burst into tears. Wow, it really is a gorgeous view over here. Holy crap. I love that sea's light. It's been a while since I came out here to calm down. I've been wound so tight doing research and working on that cure this whole time. How are you holding up? Well enough. Sleep is definitely on the agenda. I'm sorry about what I said before, about your help being pointless. I wasn't true at all. Without you, I wouldn't have found a means of alleviating that patient's symptoms. What his sister said about giving him back the time he had left, that was because of you. Don't do it. Don't make me cry. So thank you, you know, for sticking by me. You're a great doctor, Chris. I certainly didn't expect to receive a word of thanks from his younger sister. I expect her to hold a fierce grudge. I think she was grateful. I think so too. Were we able to let the patient spend more time together with his family? Or we were able to let the patient spend more time together with his family? It's just like my dad said. Doctors can't cure everything. I used to hate those words. They would push me to never give up. But I had it the wrong way around. It's because we can't cure everything that we need to think more about what we can do for the patient. That was what my dad strove for as a doctor. So he figured it out in the end. Honestly, I can't really say for sure. It'll be a long time before I get an answer. But I finally understand. You hear that, Dad? I'm going to follow in your footsteps. So I'd like you and mom to keep watching over everyone. Dim, the people have left, and Unky too. Because I'm going to keep giving everything I've got. That's right. Ugh, I love her so much. Look at that, we're so close. Reward, pyro, <laughs> more of these pyro liquids. I still have no idea what they do. I'm glad I have a giant pile of them though, I guess. <laughs> All right. Well, that was wonderful. We never get any money from that. Look at these two just enjoying the day. Aren't you cute? Sometimes the Seas Light Order comes to town with this prim and proper looking girl in their entourage. She's so pretty. I just know my boy. Oh, yeah, we had this conversation. <laughs> she gets jealous. Okay. Well, that was unbelievably intense. And, uh, you know, what are we going to do with the rest of our day? Let's see. So who are we bring in? Who are we bring into the party? Estina and Emo. Okay, let's see if we can upgrade. Hello. Estina's twin blades. Here we go. 750. What do we call heresy? No, that's Braca area. Emo, the liar stone. I'm going to upgrade Estina's twin blades. We'll put us to almost no money whatsoever. Here we go. Fortify. Beautiful. Pro shades. This would cost a lot to upgrade. Wow, she's strong. She's so freaking strong. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. That should help a little bit during the battle. It's two o'clock. Is it worth... I'm so nervous about going and trying to battle with that dude.
I think we should do it. I think we should do it. I don't think we should chicken out anymore. Let's just make it happen. Come on. <laughs> As we slow the we're gonna do it. But I'm gonna I'm gonna stroll there. <laughs> okay, so we have before we get into it, let's go. Before we just go all in. It says there's quests there, but I don't think that that's the case. Okay, before we just go all in, let's remember we have one Soma Potion. And this is going to remove poison. So we have to be very careful about how we use this. So this removes magic defense down. We don't need to think about that. This removes a stun and a bind. I mean, these pretty much just give us um, health. And our health is totally full. And we can eat, let's see, some food first. This is huge. We're going to save this. Physical attack plus 10%. So we're going to eat these first. Now strategy trying to think i'm going to go with this i want to say the lightning did really well so z and c are huge but we're going to hang on to we're going to wait and not go to um the gun weapon um until the flowers emerge and then we're going to go to the gun weapon and then we're going to have to make sure we have we're going to have to clear out one type first and then switch to the other type and clear out those and then run around and be careful not to get hit by this guy okay we're going to do this. One more thing to remember. Okay, I want to be prepared for this battle. I'm trying to apply the amount of strategy that I put into uh, Ruin King into this. So, we also have to remember that we have her party buff and cure status ailment. So, we should save this if possible, right? If possible, save this for if we're suffering from poison because it will cure the status ailments. Now... I'm assuming this is slot one, like party one, and this is party two. And if we look at key settings, just to be on the safe side, boy, I wish we could go up and just rotate it around since it's at the very bottom. Partner one special technique. So Estina is G and Emo is B. This is what I'm assuming. Okay, so. Let's do this. Let us freaking do this. I'm about to run out of stamina, though, so um, we need to eat this because I do not want to be caught. And then I'm going to put this on the juice. Wait, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go this here because I don't want to drink the juice accidentally. I really don't. Okay, I feel something unusual up ahead. You still want to continue? Oh, my God, yes. Skip event. This is the cutscene. Yes, we're just going to go straight into the battle. Let's go. Let me show Ooh, you how no fair. it is to be eaten. I will be the one to stop you. That See? is my responsibility as your child. As your child. There we go. Decent damage so far. Emo's taking some hits. I think she's probably standing in AoE. That's okay. This isn't doing a lot of damage, so let's do this. Ooh, what the heck? You this far, Kierkegaard. Okay, here we go. Switch. So resistant to that. Oh, gotta run. He's on me. Oh my gosh. No, get away. How are we looking health-wise? We're doing okay. Okay, that one's dead. Are we poisoned already? No, we're slowed. It's okay. Get out of it. There we go. Okay. Get out of it, uh, Z. There we go. Emo's taking a lot of damage. doing okay. This flower's still alive? Looks like it. Okay. Haven't done a lot of damage on Kierkegaard, but I think we're okay right now. Get out of that. He seems to be weak to this, so I'm just going to stay here for now. Oof. Let's give them another heal. No, I wanted to switch. Here I go. 
Oh, nice, nice. Okay, G. 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 Why? Oh, why is G not working? Just keep still and let me eat you. Just keep still and let me eat you. Okay, well, what, for whatever reason, the double break does not work. And I'm sad. Let's get out of that. Oh, that's freaking crazy. No, don't go running into that, you dork. <laughs> Why would you do that? Okay. I didn't think you'd last this long. I will give you the sickness that is despair. Watch out! I'll never let go of my heart. There we go. Okay, so that's where the poison comes from. I tried to get rid of it by attacking him, but it didn't work. Okay, resistant to that, so we gotta go. It's a blaze flower right here. Don't stand in it. Okay, okay. We can keep him in sight and make sure. Okay, everyone's got good health. Man, I just don't understand why the stupid, um, like, double break thing doesn't work. Oh, maybe it's because you got to do two? I think that's what it is. Well. Please don't kill me. Did she kill that thing? Nice. This thing is on me. Christina's taking some serious damage. There. These flowers are so annoying to kill. It's coming up to me again. Run. Let's get this one out of here. Oh my god, you're so annoying. Deal with you myself. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, we're hurting. Let's get a juice. There we go. Just here we go again. I don't think we can run away from it. I think it's gonna hit the whole room. Yeah. Jesus. Okay, well. So much, I had one potion. Oh, he's hurting. Oh, I think we got him. I think we got him. There we go. He's struggling. He's struggling. Come on. Don't stand in it. Oh, we got it. We got it. We got it. We're there. Yes. Still can't figure out how to use the special techniques. I don't understand why. It's okay. Oh, unbelievable. Overpowered by mere humans. We got crazy looking hands. Take that, Kierkegaard. Come to your senses, Shrieka. It's me. Could you really kill me? Is she gonna just murder him? If you can't do it, I'll do it if you can't, Shrieka. I don't want him slipping through our fingers after we've come this far. Shrieka, have you forgotten your debt of gratitude to me? You literally just tried to kill her, bro. No. How could I forget? Well then. Thank you for raising me. And now. Oh my gosh. Goodbye to Savage.
<laughs> oh my gosh. So brutal. That was awesome. Ugh, how did I get caught up in this mess? I didn't even get any good clues. The puppet might have been a clue. Oh, right, I guess. There's still the question of why that automata showed up here. That's about the only clue I got from coming here. Shriek has taken her time. But this whole event must have been a lot for her to process. Yeah, absolutely. Sorry, I hope I didn't keep you waiting too long. Oh, you actually look perkier than I expected. Were we just talking about you? How did it go? Well, I told him to grant you all access to the seat of the Stone of Seasons. Great. Now I'll be able to do my research. Now I'll be able to research the Seas Light without any restrictions. I'd still like you to not draw any undue attention to yourself in there, though, please. We're still dealing with that puppet, so for now, we're trying to limit entry to order members only. That makes sense. I can imagine the confusion it would cause if people found out about it. How is everyone in the capital doing? They're all right. They've been on their mend ever since the Floss and Dulgentia was done away with. I'm hoping things will be back to normal by tomorrow. <laughs> they were all almost dead. How about you, Shrika? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm wondering the same thing. You've just been through a pretty grueling experience. It's only natural to feel emotional right now. You worried about me? Absolutely. Well, I would be lying if I said it didn't affect me at all. But I can't let this stop me now. Even if the Seraph child was just a product of his scheme. It's a symbol of hope to the followers. And that's just as real to them as my own heart is to me. No one can deny that. So for as long as people rest their hopes on me, I will keep fighting. I won't neglect my duty as a missionary. But that's how you feel. Yeah, more now than ever. This event has caused a lot of disruption to the order. I have some patching up to do. We're here if you need to talk. It's what I love to do. Help out the homies. Hey, hey, I appreciate the concern, but honestly, I'll be all right. There is one thing I'd like to say, though. The Order wouldn't have been able to resolve this without you. Thank you. That was also the wake-up call I needed to start broadening my horizons. So I've decided I'm going to join you on your travels whenever I'm not working for the Order. Cool. <laughs> you can't just invite yourself. Why would I ever say that? Thanks. I'm looking forward to it. You'll see what this missionary is really made of. Where's Braca anyway? What's he getting up to this time? Damn you, Shrieker. Your power has exceeded my expectations. This guy's still alive? You just don't know when to give up. Whoa! He dropped the cloak. You, what do you want? I need to ask you something. There was another hollowed with you when you attacked that village 20 years ago. Where is he? Who, Amadeus? How should I know? Even if I did, what good is that to you? Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Savage. Don't underestimate me. I know what your weakness is. Just like I know that a normal person wouldn't cause, any, cause you any fatal injuries. What? That weapon? You're no ordinary mercenary. Don't tell me. It was you that day. Nope, I'm just your average mercenary. Your kind destroyed my whole village, and now I live only to fight. But I'm not pulling the trigger because it's my job. I'm pulling it for revenge. Whoa, Braca is a badass. <laughs> that was killer. Whoa, who's this guy? He's here now. Kierkegaard was unsuccessful. How inconvenient. We only taught him how to use this puppet because he said he would cooperate in our plan. What a waste of time. I expect more from a hollowed. We won't be needing this either now. He's gonna destroy it? Damn it. We needed that. We're running out of time. Chapter 3C, Cruel Autom Automata. Automata? Automata? Complete! Check that out. Closest with Aria, level 4. Oh, look at that. Party bonus across the... Oh, uh, well, no, I think that's just with her, right? I think we'd get insanely overpowered if that was the party buff with everyone. Oh, check it out. We could probably finish this quest now. Oh, let's take a look. There's quests all over the place. Holy smokes, folks. Look at this. Oh, 
we just got, we just unlocked everything. Okay, hold on one second. Let's go check this out. Was this the, yeah, this is the guy that lost his memory. Cool. Is this the temple? Yes, does it look familiar to you? It does. I've been here before. Sorry guys, could I have a look around on my own? Of course, take care. This place seems to have struck a chord. It would be the temple of all places. There's more to it, isn't there? We got interrupted earlier when I was about to tell you why Jade's parents opposed our marriage. It makes sense to tell you now. Jade was a high-ranking priest at this temple. Interesting. His family are all of the order, so he was raised from a young child to become a priest. They're a family of certain standing, so they had already arranged a wife for him. Wow. Arranged marriages, huh? But we didn't know that until after he and I had already fallen in love. Neither of us had any idea about his parents' plans for an arranged marriage. They should have told him earlier. It's common for families like this, so... When I first found out about it, I tried to end things with Jade. I just accepted it and tried to move on. I knew from the beginning they might disapprove of me anyway because I'm not a devout believer like them. But Jade was different. No matter how much his parents opposed our love, he wasn't going to give up on us. Well, that's so sweet. He said he wanted to be with me, even if that meant going against the teaching. was so happy when he said that to me, it made me not want to give up either. You two were really loved up? What? <laughs> you two were really loved up? That is the weirdest thing. What the heck? So that's how you... Can't, I, I can't say this because it makes no sense. So that's how you decided to elope. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and that's how we ended up here. <laughs> Miss Lilia, Unky, I'm back. Anything? I felt a warm, tingly feeling in my chest. But I still don't remember anything. Well. Oh. I would pray for you now, but that's kind of hypocritical, isn't it? All this time, I've never been a believer until now when it suits me. Miss Lilia. Sorry, I give up. I'm all out of ideas. Oh, is that the mom? Jade, is that you? Huh? It is you. Where have you been, brother? Um, I... Everyone's been worried about you, you know? I heard from your parents that you'd gone missing. His parents? They were looking for... What's wrong? That's right. Jade still has somewhere to go home to. What do you mean, Miss Lilia? Who's that lady? <laughs> Can I talk to you about Jade, please? Me? Sure. Lilia tells the priest about Jade's amnesia. I see, he's lost his memory from an accident and that's how he went missing? Yeah, I have a favor to ask. Could Jade stay here with you, please? Oh? I was about to ask you the same thing. His parents will be happy to have him back and if he stays here long enough, his memory might just return. But wait, where are you going, Miss Lilia? This is where we part ways. You belong here with your family. Ugh, this is brutal. I'll tell the lady you were staying with back in Nemea, so don't worry. I think it's a good idea for you to stay here in our gene. That way your memory is more likely to come back. What about you? I'll be fine as long as you are. So this is it. Okay. Are you ready? Alright, Jig, come with me. We got to get you to your family. Well then, Miss Lilia and Unky, thank you for everything.
Are you sure about this? Have you really given up? It's going to be really sweet. He's going to recover his memories and he's going to come back to her watch. But right now it's sad. Can we go to Shatola? I want to go back to that beach where you found me. Thank you. Let's go. Back to Shatola. Story of my life. This place is actually awesome. Oh, blessed stone of seasons, we pray you bring salvation to these lost souls as the sea's, lost de sea's light doth desire it. This place is amazing. Any secret treasure chest back here? Yeah. Oh my gosh. How terrible is it that I'm stealing from the church? Ooh, wise man's root. We could have used that during the battle. We had one potion. Oh, we can just sneak around this crazy church? Whoa. Look at this. What's going on back there? Okay. Well, we're getting distracted. It's getting later in the day. All of these doors... Okay, well, I'm going to poke around this church. Oh, here we go. Let's steal more from the church. Lightning stone. This is terrible. This There's like, there's like, uh, there's no moral justification for this. We're literally just robbing this church blind. Well, uh, you know, maybe we can, you know what? We can do some moral just of, you know, equivalency right now um, by saying things like, well, uh, up until what, uh, you know, 12 minutes ago, this church was run by, uh, like a psychotic monster. And so, uh, yeah, there you go. Moral relevancy. <laughs> I don't think it works. Okay. Well, this is freaking cool. And we can now go just explore. And everyone's back in town and look at all of these amazing quests that we can investigate. This is awesome. Uh, don't even remember what the other one is. But um, I feel like now is probably the perfect time to cap this episode. Um, let's see. What can we store? Whoa, that thing's crazy. Move. Let's see. Sort this. We'll hang on to this. No, we'll store this. That potion thing did come in clutch. It was really nice. It was really nice. Uh, let's go check out our waterside biome really quick before we go to bed. And I know it's early, but it just makes sense. It just makes sense story-wise. Oh, and we're probably going to get a fairy tomorrow, too, won't we? This is great. Oh, if we can go. Oh, look at that. They're beautiful. They're so beautiful. A couple more days, and we'll have four big, beautiful things. After the quietest, we'll fill this with crops, and it'll be absolutely glorious. We'll have to make sure that we have another 28 honey flower seeds to go so that we don't miss a day so that'll take another ten thousand to save up so we got to do a little bit of planning financially in order to make sure that our farm is um you know just pumping out the crops and i think i like uh making sure the waterside biome is uh, at max capacity first because it's just so linear like this is just filled with rocks and nonsense you know um, it, it just, I don't know, it irks me. Hopefully we find a way. I can't believe we haven't found a way to break these yet. Can you, can you be, can you believe it? I can't. All right. Well, you know, we, uh, we did some strategizing. We, uh, we put our minds to the grindstone as it were, and we were able to defeat Kierkegaard, which was, you know, admittedly not that difficult of a battle once we understood what we were doing. Uh, I still don't understand why I cannot figure out. And it's got to be frustrating for you that know how to do it. Why I cannot get the special abilities off. Oh, well. I think I might spend a day or two going and fighting the fear monsters and just trying to figure it out. Because, uh, you know, it's frustrating. I want to be able to show them off. We haven't needed them, so it's not that big of a deal. It's not like the game has thrown so much challenge at me that not being able to figure this out has just, like, hindered my ability to progress the story, which is what we're here for. But still. It is fun to, and I want to explore all of the different avenues of this game. All right, my friends. I appreciate you so much for sticking around here. Go ahead and like and subscribe if you are so compelled. And with that, I will bid you farewell. Let's see what money we're making today. No, no experience from that battle. Come on. Look at that. 1300 gorilla. Well, we can upgrade some weapons. That's nice. 29. We're two days until Quietus. I think we could have planted lettuce could we have not no i don't think it would have grown oh look at that fairy's coming 
when we get to go meet a fairy. We'll get to meet our new fairy friend in the next episode. Good night, y'all.